Thanks for making the trek outside to celebrate baptism with us. Um, so in Luke 15, 7, it says that there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one lost sinner who comes to repentance. And friends, that's all of us, right? We've all given our lives to Christ. I hope we've all made that decision at some point, but we all are sinners that need to come to repentance. And what Clementine King is gonna be doing today is going in this water and there's gonna be a huge celebration. There's great rejoicing in heaven, Jesus says, anytime this happens. So this is a celebration, right? So like when she comes up out of that water, like cheer and clap and shout and whatever. But this is like a memorable celebration, not just for her and for her family, uh, but it's a celebration going on that's echoing literally in heaven itself. Angels are rejoicing with us over this decision today. And so I'm super excited, Clementine, for the choice you're making. And I wanna remind all of you guys that like discipleship, like we talked about this morning, it starts at home and we get to celebrate that right now. Um, but di discipleship also extends into our neighborhood. So be thinking every time we see this tank, we should be reminded of like, I have neighbors, I have friends, I have classmates who need to go into this water to declare faith in Jesus. They, they don't know him yet, but man, I can, I can help reach them for Christ. Something we say around here all the time is that each one reach one. Like we are all called to reach someone for Jesus. And so who, as you look at this tank, just be thinking, who is someone on my street, in my office that needs to know Jesus that I can invite to come and find him? Maybe they would be in this water. Maybe would, you would pray as you leave this place, like that they would come to know Jesus because of your invitation, your blessing in their life. And they would celebrate with us in this very tank today. Um, Clementine, you ready? Yeah? Awesome. Do you, if you have anything to add, feel free, but uh, Clementine, jump on in there. No, we were just, we're really grateful. Uh, Clementine, she was saved four years, uh, three and a half years ago. And uh, we've just been talking to her for a long time and she finally just said, I want to get baptized. And you said you want to get baptized because you want Jesus as your savior and you want to be wrapped in his arms. Mm -hmm. Just to let to a friend. So, it's so sweet. We're really, really thankful. And we were just talking about it a minute ago and dad, David was like, who's baptism for? And she goes, Jesus and you guys, right? Like she gets that like it's for Jesus and for all of us to witness and celebrate what God's done in her heart. I'm so proud of you. It's such a big deal. She did say, dad, I don't like it when you call it dunked because I'm not a basketball. <laughs> so dad is going to baptize her because anyone can baptize, right? It's not just a pastor who baptizes and we want to celebrate the influence that David and Leah have been in Clementine's life. So um, Clementine, have you put your faith in Jesus as your Lord and Savior? That's awesome. I'm so proud of you, sweetie. Can I go ahead and plug your nose? Great. Then it's our great privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. All right. Way to go. I'm so proud of you. Way to go. Mama got the towel? Awesome. Way to go, sweethearts. Awesome. You guys give it up for Clementine one last time. It was awesome. Cool. Well, thank you guys again for celebrating with us this Celebration Sunday. Thank you for celebrating the decision Clementine made. And we'll be excited uh, to join Luke Wellborn here in just a couple weeks. They couldn't be here, I think I said, because they, they're homesick today. So, uh, but guys, remember, we're called to all reach people for Jesus. So be praying about who God's going to have you influence to be here in this tank. Thank you guys for celebrating with us. Have a great day. God bless.